American track and field athlete Tori Bowie was found dead at her home on May 2, 2023. She was 32 years old. The cause of death is unknown. There was no signs of foul play, according to the sheriff's office. Tori Bowie won three medals in the 2016 Rio Olympics and won two gold medals at the 2017 World Championships. American musician Rob Loxo died of cholangiocarcinoma on May 4 at the age of 44. He was a member of Kurt Vile's band, The Violators. Their most known songs are Waken on a Pretty Days and Believe I'm Going Down. American news presenter and reporter John Rowland passed away on May 7 at age 81. He served as a news anchor for Fox 5 in New York City for three decades. English actor Terence Hardiman passed away on May 8 at age 86. He was most known for playing Minister Ramsay MacDonald in the 1982 film Gandhi and the Demon Headmaster in the 1996 television series The Demon Headmaster and its 2019 direct sequel. Terence Hardiman also has appeared in films and TV shows such as Enemy at the Door, Sahara, Doctor Who, Cad Fael, and The Bunker. American actress Jacqueline Zamon died after short battle with cancer on May 10, 2023. She was 70 years old. Jacqueline Zamon was most known for playing Barbara Spencer on 880 episodes of the ABC daytime soap opera General Hospital from 1977 to 2010 and from 2013 to 2023. She also has appeared in films and TV series like Class Reunion, The Bay, and One Life to Live. American opera singer Grace Bumbry died on May 7 at age 86. She overcame racial prejudice to become one of opera's first and biggest black stars. She spent more than three decades performing at top venues across the world. American blogger Heather Armstrong, whose blog, Deuce, helped popularize mommy blogging, died after an apparent relapse of her alcoholism on May 9 at the age of 47. In 2009, she appeared on The Oprah Winfrey Show and was on the Forbes list of the most influential women in media. Japanese-American actress Eileen Saki passed away on May 1, 2023. She was 79 years old. She was most known for playing the Korean woman, Rosie, in the TV series, MASH. She played Rosie for nine episodes from 1976 to 1981. British-American actress, most known for playing mothers in the original Broadway productions, Into the Woods, and Sunday in the Park with George, Barbara Bryan died on May 2nd at age 94. Denny Crum, an American college basketball coach who coached Louisville from 1971 to 2001, died on May 9th at age 86. In 2006, he was inducted into the College Basketball Hall of Fame. American Hall of Fame football player and coach Joe Cap died on May 8th at the age of 85. He played in the National Football League with the Boston Patriots and Minnesota Vikings. In 1969, he led the Minnesota Vikings to an NFL championship and Super Bowl appearance. Joe Cap finished his NFL career with 5,911 passing yards and 40 touchdown passes. American baseball player who played in Major League Baseball from 1969 to 1986, Vita Blue, passed away on May 6, 2023, at age 73. He was a six-time All-Star and won three World Series in a row with the Oakland Athletics from 1972 to 1974. 
American golfer who won the 1967 PGA Championship and played on two victorious U.S. Ryder Cup teams, Don January, died on May 7 at age 93. Czech ice hockey player who won 1990 Stanley Cup with the Edmonton Oilers in 1990, Petr Klima, passed away at his home on May 4 at the age of 58. He scored the game-winning goal in the longest Stanley Cup final game in league history. American Hall of Fame rodeo cowboy, arguably the biggest superstar in rodeo history, Larry Mahan, died on May 7 at age 79. He was the subject of the 1974 Oscar-winning film, The Great American Cowboy. American artist and graphic designer who designed posters and album covers for numerous bands, Frank Kozik, passed away on May 6 at age 61. American attorney and former chairman of the Federal Communications Commission, Newton Norman Minow, passed away on May 6 at age 97. The cause of death was a heart attack. He was known for his speech at the National Association of Broadcasters Convention on May 9, 1961, in which he called television a vast wasteland. Canadian filmmaker who has produced and directed over 60 films throughout his career, Brian McKenna, died on May 5 at age 77. He was most known for his work on the television series The Valor and the Horror. Lance Blanks, an American professional basketball player and college basketball analyst for ESPN and the Longhorn Network, died on May 3rd at age 56. Dean Corrin, an American politician who dedicated decades of his life to political activism, died on May 3rd at age 67. English singer, songwriter, and musician with a stunning five-octave vocal range, Linda Lewis, died on May 3rd at age 72. Her most famous song is rock a doodle Do." American professional golfer, one of the most colorful characters on the PGA Tour, Lance Tenbroke, passed away on April 30th at age 67. American long jumper, three-time Olympic long jump medalist, Ralph Boston, died on April 30th at age 83. He was the first person to break the 27 feet barrier in the long jump. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos.